The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. And guys, today what we're going to be doing is just taking a look at the brand new tuning update that came out today in Madden 17. It does affect all game modes. These tuning updates are actually due to uh, changes that they make in the gameplay itself. So regardless of if you play Draft Champs, Mutt, head-to-head -head regular teams, whatever game mode you play, Connected Franchise, doesn't matter. All of those game modes are affected by these updates. So... With that said, guys, let's go in here. We're going to take a look at the things that are the most important things that they updated. So it's actually just five total things. So a couple of things, in my opinion, are missing, but we'll get to that. But the first things that I want to talk about are the aggressive catch updates that they made to the game. So the first thing that they did is that they tuned down the aggressive chances, uh, aggressive catch chances to actually win when you're contested. So if it's a two-man catch interaction, meaning the wide receiver and the defensive back are in one-on-one, -on -one, you know, jumping up trying to get the ball, you're less likely now to catch the ball. So I think this is a good thing overall. Uh, I believe that this affects both the offensive and the defensive players. I could be wrong on that, but that's the way that it that it reads to me. Uh, literally, what it says is tune down aggressive catch win chances in two man catch interactions. So that could just be for offense, possibly because offense is the only one that actually has the quote unquote aggressive catch jump. Um, but either way, it, you know the important thing here is that the offensive players are not going to be coming down with those aggressive catches quite as often. Secondly. They also, in addition to just tuning it down in a standard two-man interaction, they also tuned it down, it appears, in specific SWAT animations. So if you're a defensive player and you press the square button on PlayStation, uh, you're going to get that SWAT animation, Where, well, most of the time anyway. <laughs> we won't get into that aspect of things, but a lot of times, most of the time, you're going to get that SWAT animation where the guy's going to try and knock the ball away from the receiver. And it sounds like that has actually been increased. So the likelihood that you're actually going to be able to swat the ball away has been increased. So that's a good thing. The next thing, the rack catch penalty from trailing defender proximity was reduced. Now, as far as I understand this, that basically means is what that basically means is that if you went for a rack catch, let's say on a slant route, for example, if there was a defensive back within a few steps of you, even if he didn't actually interact with you and try and knock the ball away, your player basically had a built-in thing where he would still drop the ball. So it sounds like this is going to reduce dropped passes to open receivers, which I think is definitely a good thing. It also says that they reduced the strip ball mechanic. So they tuned that down. That is going to be a huge thing, I think, for people. Now, we had this problem at the beginning of the year where there were just a ridiculous amount of fumbles for whatever reason. So now it appears that they have gone back and they reanalyzed things. They, they did make a patch originally that changed a lot of that and made it better. And then it appears that another patch or another tuning update changed it back to the way that it was originally which is obviously a huge problem so it appears that they've changed that once again and it has been reduced now how much has been reduced i don't know you guys will have to let me know in the comments section below as, as you've been playing uh are the computer players forcing fumbles still at a ridiculous pace and especially in head-to-head -head games are you still seeing just a ton of fumbles or, or has it been reduced I want to know because I, I really have no idea. I, I really didn't experience this that much, but I know other people did when they play better players than probably the ones that I play against. And then the last thing, it says increased risk of broken tackles when attempting strips. So I think this, again, goes with the, the strip button on defense. So now if you're going to be going for a strip, there's a better chance that the opposing team's running back is going to break the tackle. I love that idea because it was basically, there was basically no reason to not go for strips, to be honest with you, before this, and apparently this was a huge issue in the competitive scene. Tons of people would just go for the strip animation every time because if you didn't get the strip, you at least most of the time still got the tackle. So now it appears that they've changed that, so I, I think that's a big update, and I think that's going to be a good thing for the game going forward. So I want to hear from you guys. Uh, are there any things that are missing? I think the biggest thing to me that's missing out of this, and I don't know if they have to change it with a patch update, which is kind of a bigger thing than just a standard tuning update. The biggest thing to me that's still in the game 
is the fact that your defensive players still go off sides completely randomly for no apparent reason. And it's not like they got caught with like a, uh, you know, a, a hard count or something like that from the offense. They just jump or they don't even jump. They're like lined up off sides. Apparently, I don't even know what the hell is happening because a lot of times it doesn't even look like the players off sides that they call off sides. So I think that that needs to be changed. I, I, I've been saying that for a, over a month now that this is like, I, it's unacceptable at this point that that hasn't been updated. So Hopefully, we'll see that here in the next couple of weeks. But again, guys, I want to hear from you guys. Are there any other things that need to get updated that haven't been? I think this is going to address some of the major ones, though. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. And I will talk to you guys again soon.